Uh, my first guest, ladies and gentlemen, of course, you know, uh, was Mork. He was also Garp in the film. He was Popeye in that film. And he is now co-starring with Walter Matthau in a new film called The Survivors. Please welcome a tremendously talented person, Mr. Robin Williams. Robin. <laughs> See and it. for late summer, real men do this. <laughs> real men aren't afraid to say, I have nipples too. <laughs> Whoa, let me, let me button this up real quick. Some of the Mac saying, let's see them, don't be afraid. You know, the, uh, the last time I saw you, first of all, congratulations uh, on your son. Oh, that's wonderful. You have a brand new baby boy. Yeah. So, it's incredible when you think of how it happened. You think there must be all these sperms start off and there must be one sperm that gets a diaphragm and goes, boom! Everybody else, over me, keep swimming, go on. <laughs> Two sperms back there going, good luck, we'll be here. <laughs> Carry on till you get a standing ovulation, go on. <laughs> Do you, uh, and also you, you have, uh, you look different from the last time I saw you. Yes, sir, this uh, beard I put on here, it's uh, uh, on the back, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> And what is the reason for the beard? It's for a film about a Russian saxophone player who defects in Bloomingdale's. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Some lady's going, that'll never happen unless it's a sale. <laughs> but it's with Paul Mazursky. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now you're, you, the, the first time I saw you perform, uh, you were pretending to be, and a lot of people thought you were. A, oh, a Nicky comic, Lennon. Yeah, yeah, a comic from Russia. He used to do suppressions and do Soviet ventriloquism with a little puppet going, would you like to say hello? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Used to do that. We had uh, did an impression of Karl Marx, which imperialism is the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that was fun. That was the first thing I ever did. The first character I ever had. Yeah. Uh, now the Mitzi says hello to you. Now Dave. tell tell the folks <laughs> tell the folks who Mitzi is. Oh, who are, oh um, Mitzi's a lady. Who, oh, this one. Mitzi own, Mitzi owns the comedy store in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. People are going. Okay, so what now? <laughs> And, she and, says, hello, tell David, hi, from everybody, George and Jay Leno and everybody. And, and also, the other thing about Mitzi, anytime, day or night, you can pretty much bet that this is what she's doing. <laughs> Counting that dough, just big stack, <laughs> boom, just, just bigger I don't bigger. know, maybe we'll open joke in the box. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have an order of stick for the kids. Uh, now, tell, now, let's, let's, uh, so I didn't, no, no, you're right. I'm... I didn't mean to talk about, uh, not talk about your son, but his That's name is... Zachary. He's one... I was going to name him Attila, but I thought, no. No, no. <laughs> It's wonderful. It's an incredible process. I mean, when my wife got pregnant, it was great because after the first month, the titty fairy came. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was like, whoa! Let me touch. No, they're for the baby. <laughs> oh. 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 I see the man from. There's a man from Standards and Practice going, well, well, we can bleep that. <laughs> it was, and also we went through this, uh, the process of the birth coaching, which is you go through the Lamaze technique. And this was the way you uh, chose yeah, to? Yeah, you, you, you do the deep breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. I, I did the Joe Garajola School of Childbirth. <laughs> you have a little catcher's mask going, yo, out of there, baby, yo, come on. <laughs> Slide, yo, you got five, come on now, take a chance. <laughs> he, when he showed up, the, the day he was born was incredible. Because they say you're going to have a little baby. I said, nah, it's a little old man. Yeah. They, they showed him and said, Mr. Williams, here's your boy. That's Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to touch the breast now. Let me wait a minute. <laughs> it, was, it was, but truly, I felt like this incredible warm feeling. It's yeah. outrageous. And now, uh, how did you select the name? Uh, in a book. Uh, uh, but they had this book of the Book of Names, and they have... Uh, <laughs> sound. That sounds good. Came toward the end of it and got Zachary. Sears sounds like a good name, doesn't it, huh? <laughs> Your name will be Chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why does everyone go... <laughs> uh, now, uh, His middle name, I shouldn't tell. I no, I, like... You know, you're going to be... Uh, a pretty strange father. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great, especially saying, Daddy doesn't know what he does for a living. Uh, but I can't wait to when he starts to speak, too. Oh, what are you trying to say? Trust fund. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today. Mommy taught you that, didn't she? <laughs> uh, have, you, have you given any thought to, uh, I mean, has this altered your behavior around the child at all? It has. I have, I've started to. <laughs> There's that time when he 
about three or four o'clock in the morning where you wake up and realize, that's a lovely noise. <laughs> where he makes that cry, that... <laughs> and you see your dog over in the corner going, I'll be back. <laughs> God, if I did that, I'd be gone. I'd be dead by now. <laughs> the dog hits the road, yeah, the huh? dog's going, I don't know. I'm out of here, pal. <laughs> he does, you let him, you don't mind if he has all sorts of stuff. I'd get crazy. Now, are you, do you find yourself slowing down a lot? Because oh, you God. always... You used to work uh, uh, night after night, and you're doing films. Oh, and yeah, so you can't come back. As, if you come back late at night now, I come back sometimes after playing a club. You come back at 2.30, and my wife's standing in the door going, the child's in there. <laughs> and you feel like Max von Sydow going, I will deal with the baby. <laughs> and you open the door, and the baby's inside going, Father, <laughs> look what I made for you. <laughs> uh, some of the joys of parenthood that uh, you're here on a very special night. We also have Stupid Petrix and Peter Tosh will be joining us uh, what a great man. later in the program. <laughs> uh, be, oh, there, there's great vapors back there, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, the, uh, I saw a photograph of you in a magazine uh, fishing. Oh. Now, that, was that just a dummy photo? To oh, yeah, they actually dubbed in another fish? No. <laughs> I mean, do you, do you, you don't look like... you got a, you got a farm, though, don't you? A yeah, ranch? Oh, this ranch is wonderful. It's great. We have one old horse. That's, I'll take you to the top of the hill, then you've got to get off. <laughs> <laughs> we have old... We have, I guess we call it our home for factory second animals. We have animals that couldn't survive anyplace else. Right. You know? Three-legged rabbits from the Good Luck Farm, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> right. That's not good luck to me, Mr. William. <laughs> we have, uh, we have the, my parrot, the one that says the nasty words we can't say here. Um, we have uh, the horses, the sheep. The sheep are great, too. They all look at you. They're incredible, the sheep. You come up and you come up with one and they go... They all at once go, Who's that? <laughs> and then there's always a coyote or two out in the woods going, Well, wait till night. Then they send the cat out. <laughs> And there's owls. There's an owl. is a great bird. The owl is a great... I, I saw this owl one night. Turn his head. 360 birds. And other birds go, Damn, Jack, I ain't sitting near you. <laughs> <laughs> now, who was, takes... Who looks after the horses? We, have, uh, we have a man, Roger, there. He takes care of the animals, uh -huh. you know, and they're all taken care of. You know, they all move north. We have kind of a gestalt ranch. If, they, if the energy's right, they move. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Is, is this a working farm? I mean, we eventually no, no. shear the sheep. It's a and, playing uh, farm. Just, little animals out there going, Service! <laughs> <laughs> So it's like a petting zoo at your yeah, place, oh, more than a farm. The, the petting yeah. zoo, and they always have the one old pony that, I'm a miniature horse, get away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. It's really peaceful, though. I love that. It's, it's a little scary sometimes when, like, the turkey vultures fly over going, I haven't seen you in the Inquirer. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Then you go, whoa! <laughs> Time to run some more! <laughs> It's beautiful. I really like it. Yeah. It's very peaceful. Uh, but you're still very, very busy because you, you're not... This this motion picture is just barely out and you're already uh, preparing for the one you mentioned with the right. Paul Mazursky film. I was playing the saxophone yeah. in the park today. Now, you're actually learning to play the saxophone. I'm trying, but this one lady came up to me in the park and said, Don't give up your other job. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. You're, you're nice practice. Get away from that. Yeah. But will you eventually be... Uh, how's it coming? You're pretty good, you think? No, I... Eventually? Bet. It kind of sounds like a whale farting underwater right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... I think I'm trying. I'm making the effort. Yeah. You know, scared. Oh, baby, gassy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the moves down. <laughs> just, I'll do a lot of this and then go, oh, wipe me off. <laughs> <laughs> the good moves is all you yeah, need. You just really. end up just da, 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 da. Oh. Yeah. Send for Michael Jackson. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and even doing that, you're probably still doing a lot of stand-up every night? Yeah, I still perform that. Now, what's the point of that? I mean, you... Uh... Just therapy, Dave. You know, it's so much cheaper than having a man say, what about your mother? <laughs> yeah. I, I like playing the clubs. It's a great release. Yeah. Playing uh, catch. I played the other night. It was at uh, Catch a Rising Star, and I played the comic strip with Eddie Murphy. That was fun. Big night that was. Yeah, it was. It was a doubleheader. Yeah. yeah. We had a good time. Uh, but you, I mean, it's surprising because most people, they get to the point where they've had your kind of success, they kind of ease back a little bit. And... I can't. I can't. It's too much fun. It's also, uh, eventually I have to leave the house because the child goes, You've tried it too much on me. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Daddy wants to try another bit. Now, come on. Let's see. Come on. Now. No, no, it doesn't work. There's no segue. <laughs> Mother's breasts, too. And I'll be right back. Uh, 
I have a feeling, how much of this will actually be on the air? It's <laughs> a major question. Uh, now, if you, if you were going to take a vacation, have you taken a vacation lately? Oh, uh, well, the last time I was living at the ranch for three months in a row, getting ready for this. Well, I was studying good. Russian. I'm also speaking Russian in the film, so I've had, I have these Russian teachers working in ships. You got to talk about Ruskin. That's enough. Next. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. I mean, uh, I don't think I'll, after this film is over, after the Mazursky film, I'll take a vacation. Yeah, so, but you'll have a couple of useful skills. You'll be able to speak Russian and the saxophone. So I'll be down at McDonald's going, is this to go? <laughs> <laughs> now, you want to talk about the film, uh, The sure, Survivor? I'm here. Yeah, what was it like working with uh, Walter Matthau? Oh, it was great. We played a lot. Yeah. He was one of them. I used to crack him up by doing George Jessel talking about the early days of film. <laughs> there was no cameras, just a man going, that's a wrap. <laughs> we played a lot. He's fun to work with. He's yeah. great. He taught me, I would do like five minutes of madness, and he would just raise an eyebrow and just get the laughs. So I was like, oh. oh, that's easier, isn't it? <laughs> uh, listen, thanks uh, thank you, sir. to you for your time. Well, I know, God bless uh, you, and, and thank you your... for letting me be on here and help the child. My baby's backstage. Anything anything we can do. In well, fact, that's uh, fine. We need money for Pampers. Because <laughs> then you're up to here. All right, we'll stay on, on the air all night taking phone calls, yeah. and uh, and we'll, <laughs> we'll let you know how help we do. Help the Pamper Fund, please. <laughs> Robin, nice to thanks. see you again. Thank, Thank you very much. Robin Williams. We'll be right back with Stupid Patrick. Yeah.